Sergeant Kelton and the Reserve Marksmanship Team arm, uh, Armor. Uh, currently I'm in the process of getting ready to bed an M14 into a new stock. I have here the new stock and a prior project that was done that I restocked on another one that's just going to show you what the final product is going to be. This is a stripped stock. The only thing I've done to it is I've installed the butt plate and the rear swivel. I'm going to go through and install all the front ferrule and open it up for the national match standards. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use a fiberglass boat hole filler. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply it all where throughout the action sits in there, set it in there, and let it set up. And then I'll take it out and clean it up. So that way the, the action sits in a solid point that does not move. And then afterwards, I'll flip it over and I'll do the bottom side here for the trigger guard and the trigger mech as well. The uh, actual bedding process will actually end up take end up taking a couple of days because uh, once I get it set in there, I actually have to let the compound cure, and I usually let it cure overnight. So I'll get it in there, make sure it's all cleaned up, and then I'll let it sit overnight, and then and the next day I'll come in and start cleaning everything up. This is an M1A that I did for myself. Uh, it took a medium barrel. I bought a bone stock M1A back in 2007. Finally got all the parts together. Put it, rebarreled it with new medium weight, put a fiberglass stock on it, uh, put the scope rail on there, mounted a scope, and then uh, I had a friend of mine actually do the paint job on this. I've done everything on this all on my own except for the paint job. Pretty much it.